Welcome back. Today is the last day of News Hub and after 34 years, the last day of three producing its own news. From tomorrow, staff will be providing a six o'clock bulletin to Three's owners, Warner Brothers Discovery. So let's take a look back at the big stories and events that we've covered and that you've watched. No journalism gets you closer to a big event than TV news. Even before the journalist gets involved, the images and audio can tell a powerful story on their own that newspapers and radio can't compete with. That's how we started the news on the day 9-11 happened. This is 3 News. Tonight, an extended 3 News, as we bring you coverage of the horrific events in the United States. Al-Qaeda's attack on New York's Twin Towers killed nearly 3,000 people and literally changed the world. It sparked George Bush's war on terror. And with it, a worldwide backlash against Muslims that had terrible consequences here in Aotearoa 18 years later. The death toll isn't known, but it's understood it is the worst shooting event in New Zealand's history. The Christchurch mosque attacks claimed 51 lives and left us all in disbelief. They are us. The person who has perpetuated this violence against us is not. Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern's response boosted her international reputation. But the arrival of COVID in 2020 presented her with another huge challenge. These decisions will place the most significant restrictions on New Zealanders' movements in modern history. Ardern's hard line was accepted as lives were being saved, but eventually the lockdowns and vaccine mandates raised many questions. And we asked them. And then there was the occupation of Parliament's grounds. It's utter chaos. It is absolutely terrifying what went down at our parliament today. Politics has always played a huge role in our coverage. Your political career is in tatters. Do you have any regrets? The ins and outs, the ups and downs, and the going, going gone. And then there's election night. He's a Mr Miyagi right now. Lux on, lux off. We've been through a lot, New Zealand, since that first news hour back in 1989. Read by Philip Sherry. Good evening. An Auckland man is in prison tonight. Often we came together in times of tragedy, like our rolling coverage of the deadly Christchurch earthquakes. We're, this is the inside of the cathedral. We'll just go in and have a look at the damage. Unbelievable. And Kaikoura, capturing the images once seen, can't be forgotten. The eruption at Fakari White Island that claimed 22 lives. People beside themselves with worry and with fear, they left in tears. It is with great sadness that we interrupt our programme to tell you that Queen Elizabeth II has passed away. And when Queen Elizabeth's remarkable reign came to an end, we brought you every moment. It's where a grateful London and the world say goodbye. There have been lighter moments too, with the touches of humour from reporters like Bob McNeil, now part of our DNA. Bob McNeil, Free National News. We've travelled the world to bring you the biggest stories, from conflicts... We're just 10 kilometres from the border, the constant but faint rumble of artillery being fired in this direction. ..to natural disasters. She has a, a gaping wound in her leg. We've poured cold water on some extraordinary claims. You're providing them with false hope. What do you mean false hope? Well, the water doesn't do anything. And waded in as our neighbours, the lucky country, weren't so lucky. Everyone in Sydney is being asked to stay home tonight because it's becoming too unsafe on the streets. And through devastating tsunamis, typhoons and hurricanes. The wind is so strong and I have to say it's actually quite scary and that's mainly due to things flying around. We've found a way to bring you the news. Today there is no way you can get a car through here. It's absolutely flooded. The only way through the streets is on an airboat. Climate change and weather event stories are now commonplace. But no one was ready for the devastation of Cyclone Gabriel. What's Cyclone Gabriel taken from your family? Everything. From first using a simple Māori greeting. Kia ora, good evening. We now regularly use te reo. E ngā mātā waka huri noa, tēnā koutou katoa. And like the language, our coverage has blossomed. How does it make you feel in your, your manawa, your heart sings? Well, oh. Some of our biggest sports stories have been some of our biggest news stories. The greatest 
Like winning the Rugby World Cup. How good is this? Yeah, it's pretty crazy, man. Or finally getting back the old mug. This is that moment you've been dreaming oh, of. Sort of yeah, yeah, yeah. And we've had some gold medal winning um, moments you know, reporting on our greatest so success. <laughs> celebrated with the yeah. men's pair. And in amongst all that passionate support, we were there and loving it. Up the wires. The precious. We brought the big screen to the small screen, celebrating our most creative Kiwis. <laughs> Always wanted to... <laughs> it's quite heavy. Over the years, there have been changes to our set, to our logo and to the faces bringing you the news. Kia ora, good evening. A huge police crackdown on boy races. But in 34 years, we've never missed a bulletin and we've loved bringing you the news. Thank you, New Zealand. I'm here from uh, a car park, a television car park that you can see right behind me. Making the news. Thank you so much for watching, for having us in your homes. Come on in here, guys. Get in here. There Look, there's Carl. a <laughs> quick, quick welfare check. How are you getting on? Yeah, good, you guys okay? Come on, come on. Come on. Uh, there's a huge team of people that work behind the scenes to make this happen. Thank you. Look, saying goodbye. It's so hard, isn't it? It's so very hard. But I know that we're going to stay friends long after today. We certainly are. Uh, so we've come to the end, and I'd like to finish with that beautiful uh, whakatauki or Māori proverb. What is the most important thing in the world? E tangata, e tangata, e tangata. It is people, it is people, it is people. Thank you for being our people. We've absolutely loved being yours.